Good morning, dear students. How are you, everyone? This is eSmart Learn School, and this is another lesson through eSmart Learn School YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. So first of all, let's start with the date. Today is. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Today is yes. Sunday. Comma, March, comma, 15th, 2020. Our unit is unit 10, that gives you 10. So today's lessons, uh, lesson, let's start it here. So it's lesson four and five. Okay? So let's first revise what we have to together. Okay? So very easy. Let's summarize. Let's try the rules. The boy. Is it me, him, her, them, us? Yes, excellent. Him. The girl, well done, her, if we have, for example, the elephants, elephants, is it it, no, them, excellent, next, for example, the bird, one bird, the shark, the car, the elephant, the whale, but can you see an S here? Of course, no S. So, it. Well done. If, in case I find me and my sister, for example. Excellent. Us. And if we have this way, for example, cat. I can listen to you. Can you, can you listen to, yes, excellent. Can you listen to me? Excellent. So I goes with me. Well done. That's it. Excellent. All right. So today's lesson is the following. We're going to start with this dialogue. I want you to read it with your brother, your father, and make a short video and send it to me. All right? Let's start. That's a big box. Yes, it is. What's in the box? My favorite books. Show me your books. Okay, but don't tear the pages. Put your books on my bookshelf. No, they are my favorite books. There aren't any books on my bookshelf. Buy some books. Don't take my books. You like it? Let's just read it again. That's a big box. Yes, it is. What's in the box? My favorite books. Show me your books. Okay, but don't tear the pages. Put your books on my bookshelf. No, they're my favorite books. There are it. Any books on my bookshelf? Buy some books. Don't take my books. Okay? Alright, now let's listen and say. You will love this one. Hop, hop, don't stop. Do you know what's hop? It's like jumping, okay? Hop, hop, don't stop. 
Hop with your sister, hop with your brother, hop with your father, hop with your mother, hop with Ben and Bob and Bill, hop with Jenny and Joel and Joe, hop in the sunshine, hop in the rain, hop up the hill, hop down again, hop, hop, don't stop, hop, hop, don't stop. Excellent. It's so funny, right? Let's read the end. Hop, hop. Don't stop. Hop, hop. Don't stop. Hop with your sister. Hop with your brother. Hop with your father. Hop with your mother. Hop with Ben and Bob and Bill. Hop with Jenny and Joan and Jill. Hop in the sunshine. Hop in the rain. Hop up the hill and hop down again. Hop. Hop, don't stop, hop, hop, don't stop. You can read it as much as you can. All right. Here, we want to write sentences using, using don't. Okay. We use don't to stop someone from doing anything. Let's say, for example, don't open the door. It's cold. All right. Another one. Don't eat very fast. Take your time. When you are fast in eating. Okay, let's get more. And don't play where? In the classroom. Excellent. Listen, can you remember these things? Can you remember the last one? Don't play in the classroom. Did we write this sentence before anywhere? Excellent, excellent, yes. We wrote from the beginning of the year what? The classroom rules. Excellent, the classroom rules. Can you give me some rules, please? That we wrote them together? Yes. Don't, yes? Don't fight in the classroom. Excellent. Another one? Don't eat in the classroom. Excellent. Another one? Don't play with your pencil in the classroom. Excellent. That's awesome. So, I want you to write for me many sentences starting with don't. Okay? For example, don't touch the shark. Of course, you cannot touch the shark. For example, don't play with the crowd. Okay, thank you very much. That's it. Next. So, this is today's lesson. Cloud, shellfish, spine, fin, shark, crown, strong, Hard. We repeat. Cloud. This one is a part of what? Of the crab's body. Okay? Cloud. Shell fish. Shell fish. That one is a shell. And when you, when you open it, what you find inside it? Diamond? Maybe. You are so lucky to find diamond inside it. But most of the time it's a fish, alright? Then, spine. Okay. Spine is part of the starfish. Yes, that's good. Fin. Any fish has fin. Okay. And the fin helps the fish to swim. Excellent. Next, sharp. Can you give me anything that is sharp? Yes. The knife is sharp. Excellent. 
crawl. Who crawls? Yes, the baby most of the time. Is he less than one year or more than one year? Of course, less than one year. Then, strong. When you are strong, Khaled, what do you have? Okay, you have muscles. Excellent. And the last one, hard. When something is hard, can you break it? No, you cannot break it, okay? Because it's hard. Alright? So, let's read this. Sea creatures, anything that live in the sea, it's a sea creature, okay? So, these are the parts of the body of the crab, of course. Here we have leg, mouth, eye, strong claw, it's a strong one. It uses the strong claw for what? Yes, for catching its food and breaking it into parts before eating it. And, of course, it has a hard shell. Okay, in order to protect itself. Now, let's start. Crabs. Crabs have eight legs. Uh -huh. Do you know anything in the world that has eight legs as well? Excellent. The spider. Well done. Carry on. They have two claws. Their claws are strong. They have a hard shell. Crabs can swim and they can walk. They live in rock pools and in the sea. They eat fish and shellfish. Okay, this is concerning the crab. So the crab has got eight legs, two claws, the claws are strong, and a hard shell. And they can swim and walk. They live in rock pools and in the sea. And they eat fish and shellfish. Okay, well done. Now the starfish. Starfish do not have shells or clouds. They don't have. As you can see here. Okay? Starfish have arms and spines. Can you count the arms? How many arms are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Five arms and spines. These are spines. The, the sharp one. Okay. What color is it? Yes, it's white. Thank you. This starfish has five arms. The spines are sharp. It has lots of tiny feet. Okay. Can you know why, why the spines are sharp? Yes, yes, excellent. To protect itself from other animals that may eat it. And you know any animal that may eat it? For example, yes, maybe the crab. The crab can eat it or any predator. Predator means any animal that eats another animal, okay? Any animal that eats another animal, right? We carry on. It has lots of tiny feet. Starfish cannot swim, but they can crawl like a baby, okay? On the rocks. They eat shellfish. This starfish can eat shellfish as well. So let's start with the body parts of the, sh of the starfish. So here we have arm, sharp spine, tiny feet, and that one is the mouth. Now, the last thing is the fish. Fish have strong tails and fins. Fish can swim quickly. They eat tiny animals in the sea. Again, fish have strong tails and fins. Fish can swim quickly. They eat tiny animals in the sea. So, this is the body parts of the fish. We have here a strong tail. We have here a fin. And don't forget, the strong tail and the fin help the 
fish to swim fast. And here we have the eye, and here we have the mouth. Can fish live outside the sea? No, definitely no. Because it breathes the air in the sea, not outside the sea, okay? Well done. Next, let's answer these questions. We have seven, okay? Now please, I want you to open your books and answer the questions with me. So, in each sentence we have one mistake, we circle it, and we correct it. Number one, it's already done, let's read it. Crabs have ten claws. Is it correct? Are they ten claws? No, definitely no. Only two claws. Next one. Crabs can swim and they can talk. Can the crabs talk? Of course they cannot. So, you circle talk. You circle talk. And we write what? Excellent. And we write walk. Walk. It's W A L and K. Okay? That's number two. Three, four, five, six. Next one. Crabs live in rock ponds. Can they live in rock ponds? Yes or no? No. So, what's wrong here? Ponds. I circle ponds and what I write? A rock Pools. Excellent. It's a pool. Alright? Don't forget the P. It's a circle. It's a half of a circle. Then a line that goes down. Alright? Let's move to the next one. Starfish have arms and shells. Look at the starfish. Does it have arms and shells? Arm. What about arms? Yes. Arms is correct. What about shells? No. So, I circle shells and I write what? Yes. Excellent. I write spines. So, it's S. P I N E S spines. Okay. Are the spines sharp? Yes, they are sharp. Excellent. Number five. Starfish have big feet. Does that starfish have big feet? Definitely no. And how are their feet? Excellent. They are tiny. So circle big. We circle big. And we write tiny. How to write tiny? It's T I N and Y. Tiny. Excellent. Alright? The next one. Starfish eat jellyfish. Is that correct? Of course, no. So we circle what? We circle jellyfish. We circle jellyfish. And we write what? Let's move to the text. They eat shellfish. They eat what? Shellfish. So we write shell. Fish. Shell fish, okay? We still have another one, number seven. Back to the book. Fish have long tails and fins. Look at the tail here. Is it long or, or what? Strong, excellent. So I circle long and I write strong.
strong boys. Well done. Last part of today, we have the phonics. Here we have the sound ooh. Okay? Ooh, like in moon, ooh, boot, spoon, balloon. Again, moon, boot, spoon, balloon. Excellent. So let's read the short text. A round silver moon. A long silver spoon, tall silver boots, and silver balloons. Again, a round silver moon, a long silver spoon, tall silver boots, and silver balloons. Thank you very much. You can even underline the words with double O, moon, spoon, boots, balloons. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you very much. I hope that you follow this video and that you understand everything that I have explained today. If you have any question about anything, just contact me, alright? Ask me anything, alright? Anything that you don't understand, just send me your question and I will be so pleased to explain for you. Have a nice day, stay well, stay healthy, and I hope that you will follow the next videos and have a nice day.